Speaking of Apple, the charts could signal a battle brewing in big tech. Chartmaster Carter Worth is at the plasma. He is going to break it down. Take it away, Carter. Thanks so much, Courtney. So it, 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 the subject here is concentration of capital and the risks or the benefits associated therewith. The first chart I'm starting with is simply that, the top two stocks in the S&P 500. We know what they are now. It's Apple and Microsoft, and they've just now reached 10 percent of the weighting of the entire market. The last time we were that high, in fact, we're higher now, was at 9.9. .9. It was the actual peak in 2000. And actually, Microsoft was one of the two. It was GE at the time. GE and Microsoft then, this time Apple and Microsoft. But it, it gives to mind whether we're having any pause or dip. Even here, we dipped, we dipped, we dipped. This time, it's literally straight up. Uh, no fear at all, uh, complacency, and that is an issue. Now, I wanted to look at Applesoft, meaning those two stocks, versus Amazugal, like this is something right out of Dr. Ooh. Seuss, right? Now I know what's going on. This is a uh, beginning of the year report that's now six weeks old, and we're just sticking with it for clients. The bet is that Amazugal, right, is better <laughs> than Applesoft. Now, here are the lines, not uh, manipulated or drawn, this is right off uh, a computer screen, and I want to show it to you a little further back. The two baskets, a little further back. And what we have is a circumstance where one has broken out, and one is just now breaking out. So. Here is Applesoft, coiled, beautiful textbook breakout, and guess what happens? Look what it did. Fantastic. So why not, and always the case, find something that's about to do what something else has done. Take a look at Amazugal. It is sitting right here, and guess what's starting to outperform, of course? Amazon breaking out, Google up quite nicely today as Apple is struggling. I think this is the better play uh, if you're going to be in super cap names that are dominating the market. I love it. Carter, come on over here. That was a good one. Guy, what do you well, think? Well, he comes Those over. Well, you know, are... it's interesting. The first thing, I, I know Tim thought of this as well. I thought of pork chops Pops and, and applesauce. Apple Isn't that swell? No Isn't that swell? That was Peter Brady. Peter Brady. And I will that, tell man. you, I mean, oh. wow. wow. Oh, 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 so was you mentioned awesome. the Brady Bunch and, <laughs> and the, the lights, lights go out. Go out. Very interesting. As they should, probably. My mother <laughs> anyway. made the worst <laughs> pork chops of all, of all time. But getting back to Carter. She'd be happy to hear that. Well, she, she actually would be very <laughs> happy. Yeah. With that said, I'm with Carter on this one. It does appear as the Emma Google, Emma, Emma Google, whatever you does want. look like it's breaking out. So if you're playing a pairs trade, I would be taking profits in the former, the applesauce, and looking to get in as Emma Google. <laughs> What's so ironic, of course, is these each of them. If you were to look at them as a basket, they're bigger as a sector. Amazon and Google, Emma Google and applesauce are both <laughs> bigger than. Utilities, bigger than energy, bigger than materials. I mean, they're their own entities, and they were quite correlated until the huge breakout in Apple and Microsoft. Am Amazon's just now breaking out. It's a, it's a better bet. Can I call it Amazugal? Yeah, or, that's, yeah. That's oh, what you did. Okay, okay, it was Amazugal. Anyway, it's 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 a lot for me. But but if you think about the rotation, look at the Amazon by itself outperforming the triple Qs by almost 10 percent in the last 12 days. That's massive rotation. I think on a relative basis, people were very underweight Amazon going into those earnings numbers. Overall, though, something to be concerned about. This reminds me of what we were doing, the conversation we were having in much of 2015 when we saw that the, that the market breadth, was, first of all, the lack thereof, it was only in these mega cap tech stocks. And because we were seeing some global growth concerns, we were seeing a lot of concern on earnings overall. In that year, you saw Amazon outperform the, outperform the triple Qs, uh, or the S&P, I should say, by about 80 percent, Google by 40 percent. It's the same trade we have going on, and it's a trade because mega cap tech is defined Defendable on, on valuation and in an environment where we don't have growth, these are names that I think are going to continue to outperform. Karen, what do you think about this? Amazugal or Apple Soft? Well, uh, not I either mean, one. I, well, Amazon uh, Alphabet rather is my biggest position, right. so I kind of got to be so in, you're the in Amazon. Amazugal. I'm in the. Uh, okay, fine. Amazon. I said it. I'm Amazugal. All right, that's there the we first go. step. I always, I always thought. <laughs> yeah, right? I always thought Karen's Amazugal. That's right. Let me. Uh, so Google was up. I don't know why it was up today. I didn't really see anything. So I mean, yeah, uh, twenty nine dollars. It nothing. Just, that no, I, it's sort of lag. It, if you look at the super cap names, it has lagged Microsoft and Apple. So I think right. Apple's maybe a little money coming out and some money going into. But the really the real big play is of course. Amazon just having been sideways for almost two years and just breaking out. And hitting those all-time highs today. What do you think about, have you factored in any of the, the valuation back then? Does that come into it at all? I know because so, you're technically based. Yeah, I mean, the valuation is much different. I mean, the, the multiple that Microsoft was trading at compared to now. Microsoft is trading at 35 times trailing, right? And then it was more like 60. GE was incredibly expensive at 40, 45 times. Um, you know, valuations are much different, rates are much different, so there's no comp in that sense. But there is something known as moral hazard, uh, and you have a lot of 
people counting on a handful of names mm -hmm. that if it goes wrong, the market can't sustain. There's no amount of money you can take out of Amazugla or anything and put it into <laughs> what, Foot Locker? I mean, Foot Locker can't <laughs> absorb that kind of money, right? No, and retail's down 12% right. this year. I mean, if you look at the disparity between the triple Qs and retail, it's about 16% year to date. It's not even close. Not even close. Carter, this is a fun one. Thank Thanks, you for this. Guys. Amazugal and Applesoft. I'm going to have to think Fantastic. that through and make Pork sure. Pork chops and uh, yeah, Applesoft. Yeah, exactly. Flip it around.